get your wraps. And as we can see, they're about to close up right now. What's going on, everybody? I they're went about out. To close up, and don't forget, right here, we got the Lakine. On Juice Light. Alkaline water, right here on the east side of Detroit. East side of Detroit, we got, we over here at the Motor City Smoothies. As y'all can see, y'all here, they got good music. They got the widescreen, they got Wi-Fi. Y'all come on over here to Motor City Smoothie, get your Lakine, get your Lakine. Choose like alkaline water. They haven't they have started on the T's yet. Hopefully they will, but right now they're starting to sell the uh, Lakine Choose Life Alkaline Water. Another location right here on the east side of Detroit. Hey, Contressa, how you doing? All right, y'all. Hey, Contressa, how you doing? Um, greetings, everyone. Greetings. This is part two of Satan's Priests and Prophets. Um, I just went out on um, part one. With this video, what I I, put, I was gonna put some information in and, and play another video, but end up this is the one that came up. So by this being the one that came up, uh, doing sis. All right. What's up, baby girl? I'll be on the east side, so y'all come on. That's down by that being the one that come up. That's Too the one light. that came up. So what I'm doing, what I'm doing now, is let me see. I'm planning on doing something else here. Yeah, I was planning on doing something else here. And um, just to come in, just to let y'all know that um, now I'm going to start back with part two. Uh, priests, I'm sorry, Satan's priests and prophets. And I, I, ended, I ended on uh, Jeremiah chapter 23. Might as well say I did 1 through 40. So now I'm about to go to Ezekiel. Chapter 13, verse 17. That's Ezekiel 13, verse 17. Now I'm going here because I mainly was just talking about the prof the prophets and the priests. But now I'm gonna go to Ezekiel chapter. Ezekiel chapter. I had it right here. I had a marking in there. You go. Red right, going right there. Chapter 13. I was gonna do the whole thing. Didn't matter if this was one I was gonna do first, but I'm going to go into the second half of this one because, uh, for the sake of time. And uh, y'all can always go to the beginning and see the first one. But I'm going to go into the second one because we have a lot of priests and prophets. But we never talk about the prophetess. The women out here. The women that's out here doing what they're doing. And, uh, and the things that they do, not realizing what they could be realized what they're doing, but they're not supposed to be in the position of doing the things that they're doing because if they wasn't called on the Father, we got a lot of, of women out here. Excuse me, I'm just trying to find something here. Um, we got a lot of women out here that's following or doing, they're doing uh, things that, 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 that they shouldn't. There we go. They're doing things that they shouldn't. And by them doing by them doing the things that they shouldn't, uh, they're really out of order. You know, it's some supposed to be priests and prophetess, uh, or shall I say prophetess, but a lot of them are not. They are here carrying the word. They're doing the same thing that was just said in Jeremiah twenty three. But this goes a little more in deep into, uh, against. Uh, this is going against the prophetess. You know, so I'm just gonna go ahead and share a little information according to the word of what the word is saying. Now, verse 17 of Ezekiel chapter 13. I started everything off with Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 1 through 11. Then I shared other information. Y'all can see that in part one. This is part two. So if you get time, check it out. We're starting at Ezekiel 13, verse 17. And then we're going to go to some solutions according to the word. All right? Likewise, thou son of man, Set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy out of, uh, uh, and prophesy thou against them. Now we talking about the women right now. We're talking about the women. We got a lot of women that's heady. You can't tell them nothing. They think they know a lot, 
And a lot of them out here that speaking according to their own mind. And if it, it, it is according to their own mind, if it's not going according to the law. Everything is about the law. The law is the father's name. This is how you follow the father. Matter of fact, it was a book of remembrance that was written, which is at the end of Malachi. Uh, Malachi chapter 3, verse 16 through 18. He tells you he set up his jewels. His jewels is the people that does his will. This is how you know who to, who to discern the difference from good and evil, right and wrong. It's all right there. Malachi 3, 16 through 18. But right now we're going to finish up right here on prophecy against the prophecies. Uh, this is verse 17 of Ezekiel 13. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophecy... Say which prophecy out of their own heart and prophecy and prophecy against them. See, now that's what the Pharisees say, thou against them. You see, they prophesy out of their own heart. Now he's saying prophecy against them. And say, thus says the Father. This is the key. Thus said, when they say, thus says the Father, you know when the Father's talking. Thus says the Father, woe to the woman. That sow pillows to the uh, to all armholes, and make a kerchief upon the head of every stature to haunt souls. So, I looked up kerchief. Kerchief is more like a head wrap, or a, a scarf, or a head wrap. You know, a lot of women they wear these things nowadays to look good. And in a sense, there's a lot they use these things in order to hunt souls. And they say hunt souls. Let me go ahead and get a little something real quick. I'll be right back to start something. When they say hunt souls, they're, they're hunting souls in order to they're hunting souls they're hunting souls meaning they're hunting men. They're out here doing and um, you almost think this is talking about the strange woman, I could say, I could, I could about to say, it's talking about the strange women in um, in Proverbs, Proverbs chapter seven, six and seven. I think they got two different ones. Y'all got excuse me, some seaweed. I don't know if y'all had seaweed before. They're very good. But while I'm sitting here talking to you. Throws a little dry. My tongue just needs some flavor. Excuse me. So, as I was just saying, and say, verse 18, and say, thus said the Father, woe unto the woman that so pillows to all the armholes and make kerchiefs upon the upon the head of every stature to haunt souls. Will ye haunt the souls of my people? And will ye save the souls alive to them, I mean, that come unto you? Are you going to save the souls of those people that come to you? Number one, you got to understand, I never sent you woman to speak. I never sent you to speak. So are you going to save them alive? Now, I'm not saying a woman can't teach because they can teach us certain things that, that women know. But a woman is not in the position to speak and preach. We know that. We should know that if we don't. Now, if the father set up a woman to speak, she has to have a certain order that she goes by in order to speak. Because she, her head is the man. Now, if she don't have a man, usually it's a father that is her head. You'll find that in Numbers chapter 30, I do believe. You'll find that really in the first five verses in Numbers 30. A woman has a head, whether it's the father or her man. Even though we're not in that day, the respect it should still be there. As we go. Verse, verse 19. And will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread? So you, 
You out there selling yourself, really. You out there saying what you're saying according to the Father so you can get a little bit of money. You want to, you want them to give you something so you can, it's more like you want to give a word to get something, but the Father may never have sent you. Then you may be doing stuff out of your own mind. And will ye pollute me, oh, hey, amen, and will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die, to slay them that should not die, and to save the souls alive that should not live by your lying to my people that hear your lies? You're lying to my people? And they listening to you because they think you're a prophetess. But see, they still supposed to know the word too. This is where we all are going to know the Father from the least of them to the greatest of them. Jeremiah 33, mm -mm. Jeremiah 31, verse 33 and 34. Key 1, no, Verse 31, verse 31 through 37. The key is 34, 33, and 34 in Jeremiah. Let me rephrase that. The, the main subject at this point is Jeremiah 31, verse 31 through 37. The key verse is 33 and 34. That's how I was trying to say it. I know sometimes I, I listen to some of the stuff I say. I'm trying to catch some of the stuff I'm saying so I don't over talk myself and forget what I said or say something and not correct it before I catch it. So I'm trying to do now. I always go over my, my, my information to see where I may have went wrong. If I said anything out of turn, should I say. A couple times I've done that. But then I always come back to share it as well. Verse 20. Wherefore thus says the Father. Behold, I am against you. Um, uh, I am against your pillows. Wherewith ye. Wherewith. Ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms and will let the souls go and let the souls go. Even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Hmm. Sound like they hunting people to do certain things, maybe for them or for whatever, but the father is going to actually let them loose is what he's saying. Your kerchiefs, your head wraps and which call, also will I tear and deliver to my people out of your hand. And they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted. And you shall know that I am the Father. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. Mm. person came to my mind a few moments ago. For with lies, <laughs> I told y'all about somebody videotaping me because they, I'm going to say it, because they pissed me off. I've been trying to hold it, hold it, hold it. They pissed me off and then they, they videotaped me on, on, on the slide. I didn't do it because I'm driving. I can't look at them and drive, but I'm snapping on them because they pissed, they pissed me off for the last time. But once I got it out, I was good. But they went around showing the lie, trying to say, oh, this is what he doing, this and that. I had a reason. No different than um, Kirk Franklin and his son's situation. When my wife showed me that, she said, no, she did the, uh, uh, he did the, he, Kirk Franklin's son did the, this person, what this person did to me. I'm like, hmm. She went around and showed all these people that video. I never said nothing, but it was done over a year. But then still trying to make me look bad on another occasion, which was I was attacked <laughs> uh, uh, verbally, and I just ignored it after putting them in their place. And then try to make me look, then she, the same sister tried to make me look bad after that. So, and this is the same sister that claims the father talked to her. So, I don't know, I just seen this, I had to bring it out, but that right there just coming to me because I, I'm just, it's coming the way it's coming. Not trying to pick or nothing, I'm telling you, it's coming the way it's coming. And I'm thankful for the Father that I can see and I can share. 
Because the more I know, a lot of other people out here going through the same thing. So we need to, we need to share the information that's needed. Now, and we eat through, okay, and we're, okay, bam. The end of 19. To save the souls alive that should not live, but you're lying, but you're lying to my people that hear your lies. Verse 20. Wherefore, thus says the Father, bam. Behold, I am against your pillows wherewith ye haunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Verse 21. Your kerchiefs also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be haunted, and, and ye shall know that I am the Father. Verse 22. Because with lies... I think I got here already, but I'm, I'm glad I'm back here again. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hand of the wicked, that he should not return from his wickedness, from his wicked way, by promising him life. Now you probably be a now I'm not I don't know who these I don't know that person I was talking about is doing that part. But we got a lot of people out here that's doing things that's not in order with the Father. Verse 23. Therefore ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations. For I will deliver my people out of your hand, and ye shall know that I am the Father. And then that's where we go to chapter 14. But right there, that, that go to talk about the women that call themselves priests or prophetess, should I say. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a couple of books. Matter of fact, I'm going to go from here now with some information that's leading to the solution. But I'm, the last one, but before I get to Isaiah and Ecclesiastes, I'm going to give you Jude. We're going to go to Jude, chapter, well, there's only one Jude, that right before, right before, um, right before uh, Revelation. And here, I'm going to start at verse 3, because we know that um, we got a lot of the... This is this is a person that says that they're a servant of the Father, or, or shall I say, of the anointed spirit. So I can't say that he is not. I'm not one to judge him on that. I just know that this portion, this portion of the book, was written. But in this, you'll see a lot of the, uh, of the written word in here, paraphrasing a little bit. But you'll see it in here because I'm getting ready to read it. Jude, verse 3. It said, judgments on false teachers. Okay. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Okay. Sound like a letter being written. For there, verse, verse uh, 4 of Jude, for there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Okay, it sounds like it was some. Uh, um, for there are certain men. There are some people that there says crept in unawares, who were who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. 
unrighteous men, that is the ungodly men, unrighteous men, turning the grace of our Father into lasciviousness and denying the only Father and our anointed in the Father. I'm going to say it like that. So there are certain men that have crept in underwears who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, unrighteous men, turning the grace of our Father into a lasciviousness and denying the only Father and the anointing spirit thereof. That's why I'm just going to put it like that. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Father having saved the people out of the land of Egypt. Okay, now this is where we're going to go to. This is talking about the information from the past, which is Hebrew. This is information that, these are stuff that has happened to our people, and they're going to bring a light in it. Some is paraphrased, some is actually information that come from it, but it can be written in Hebrew. So they say the new, some of the New Testament is written in Hebrew, or they can say all of it is written in, I don't believe all of it is written in Hebrew. Can't believe that. That ain't even been said. The old is written from Hebrew, the new is written from Greek. You know, but now people want to believe it's all Hebrew. Just because some of the words is there from the Hebrew text. Excuse me. Verse 5, I would therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Father having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, say the, the, the people, <laughs> it didn't say children of Israel, it just said the people. That was put there purposely, which, well, I'll say in a few minutes. Out of the land of Egypt, Afterward, destroying them that believe not. Yep. Which means the ones that, that was actually doing the, the um, well, we know they were down there playing and, and doing a lot of stuff they shouldn't have been doing. And a lot of them through the whole walk. Well, it's all in here. And the angel which kept not their first estate, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he have reserved. Uh, he had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. So that's a day that's coming that certain people is going to be judged by. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to foreigners. You hear that? Giving themselves. Over to fornication, meaning giving themselves over to sex gods. If you want to say that, you're having sex with anything and everything you want to lay down with. Ezekiel, nope. Leviticus chapter 18. Leviticus chapter 18, study that, you'll see what I'm talking about. Giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. That means you're going after other nations. And other people that we're not supposed to be messing around with. Are set forth for an example. Suffering and vengeance of eternal fire. That's what it's saying. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. Filthy, you were talking about dreamers not too long ago, wasn't we? Let me talk about uh, uh, the same thing in... Um, Ezekiel and Jeremiah, excuse me. Verse 8. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet, this is the key I want y'all to check out. And this same person they talk about is the person in Daniel and the person in Revelations 12. 
verse 9. Yet, Mikael, the archangel, when, con when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. And I've shared this before. Contending with the archangel, I mean, Mikael, the archangel, with con uh, when contending with the devil. That means that him and the worshipers of Satan, the ones that's going against the law of the Father. He disputed about the body of Moses. See, the body, I remember hearing somebody talk about that. The body of Moses is the law. And the reason why that's the body of Moses because that Moses was the one who brought the law. Excuse me. By Moses bringing the law, that's the body they're speaking of. So the Satan, Satan is someone else that's out there disputing what the word is actually saying. And by me being that Mikael, sharing the information to you, what's been said according to the law. So if the law is telling you one thing and somebody else is giving you this other doctrine, that's Satan contending with Mikael on the body of Moses because Moses is the law. But uh, he said, continue on that, uh, uh, continue on that. Do is not bring against him and railing accusation, but said, the father rebuke thee. So you don't have to go and say, you a lie, you this and that. No, you can just hold your peace and just say, I rebuke you. I mean, or just, I agree to disagree. What's wrong with that? I don't agree with what you're saying. I agree with some of the things you're saying. But I don't agree with everything you're saying because I know that everything you're saying is not true. Because we're talking about the Father's word right here and you give me something to go against that word or you give me something to intertwine that word try to make it seem like what it's saying, I will agree to disagree. Until I find out, I'll know. That's Mikael and Satan's minions that he's fighting against and the angels that stand on the law and on the prophecy. We all are the angels that's fighting them, and pretty soon, Satan is going to be falling to the earth. He already falling physically, but now we got to get him to fall out the minds of the people. That's where we got to stand. Mm. Verse 10. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. A lot of people do that. They speak evil of stuff they don't even know nothing about. Especially like a lot of these um, atheists. A lot of these atheists. A lot of people out here speaking stuff they don't even understand. A lot of them speak against the Father because they can see the sun. You can see the sun in the, in the, in the atmosphere. But we know that the space is freezing cold out there. I don't know how many, however many miles the sun is from the earth that's giving all the power and the light to the earth. What's giving the sun its oxygen for it to stay lit? What is it? What's causing the sun to stay lit to give us the uh, give us the oxygen to give us the the life that's here on the earth? Everybody is more than what you see. No different than the air you breathe. You can't see that unless it's cold and you blow your air and you see some. Um, frost in the air but all that spirit that filled the whole earth air is spirit well and that's the father's spirit of life that we're breathing that caused him to be around us at all times verse 10 but they speak evil of those things which they know not but what they know naturally it said, as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. <laughs> See, but you know, naturally, you just like the animals of the field. And that's just a point of view that I'm, I'm saying. Verse 11. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the error of Baal, uh, Balaam. See, Balaam was greedy. He's the one that the, the, the donkey talked to because he was, the donkey was actually saving the light because he'd seen an a, a angel with a flaming sword 
He couldn't see it, but the donkey did. Why? Because the father told him, and this is what they didn't get at the place that I was trying to share with him. The father told Balaam, if they come to call, then go with them. But they didn't come to call. They got, he got, they got up and as they were leaving, he got up and got dressed and went with them because he wanted that money because he was greedy. And lost his life. But gave Israel a blessing. Three blessings at that. Blessings, I like to say. For reward, say, uh, okay. And ran greedily after the era of Balaam uh, for reward and perished in the uh, gang scene of Korah. And perished in the uh, in the gang scene of Korah. These are spots in your feast of charity. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without, without fear. Clouds, they are without water. Carrying about of winds. Trees whose fruit withereth with the without fruit twice dead. Oh yeah. If you twice if a tree is twice dead, that means number one is you already dead because you can't you can't you can't uh, uh sprout fruit because you dead because you can't sprout fruit fruits is the seed and then the fact the fruits is dead the fruits is what carry the seed on so you're twice dead as a tree in that point. So what is it spiritually? You dead spiritually and you can't teach spiritually to get people to, to understand things spiritually. Plucked up by the roots. So now you're plucked up. Gone. Dead. As it said. Raging waves of the sea foaming out their own shame. Wandering stars, okay, you got a lot of them out here, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. To whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Verse 14, and Enoch also, the servant, the, uh, the um, oh, the seven, and Enoch also, the seven from Adam, Prophesies of those of those sayings. Behold, the Father cometh to with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are unrighteous, ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. You got a lot of people that's out here doing You got a lot of atheists. You got a lot of people out here that just say they don't believe in the Father, but they believe in these things that they see. That trips me out. That shows that their mind, is, that their mind haven't developed. They haven't developed spiritually. To see beyond or understand beyond, excuse me, beyond the physical. I'm sorry about that. These are, uh, I'm sorry, speeches which are ungodly sins which are spoken against him. Verse 16. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouth speaking great swelling words, having men's persons and in admiration because of advantage. Excuse me. Because of advantage. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust. And their mouth speaking great swelling words, having men's persons and admirations because of advantage. Well, their advantage is because they, they, have the, they have the floor. They have the floor to convince the people what they want to convince them to see, understand. And then the people are coming to see them to get information, but the information is given. Some could be wrong. Some could be altered. You know what I'm saying? But beloved, remember ye the words which, with verse 17. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before 
of the apostles of our father of our of our uh um it says of our father it says Jesus but one moment But beloved, verse 17 of Jude. But beloved, remember ye the word, the words which were spoken before of the apostles, of they say of their of their savior, <laughs> of their savior Christ. Yeah. That would just say the word. How that how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time, which is in the last days where we are today. Who shall walk after their own unrighteous, ungodly lust? These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. See, they're not gonna have the spirit in them. This is what we'll be talking about. This is what the spirit is. Having not the spirit of the Father. Verse 20. But ye but ye beloved, building up yourselves in, I'm sorry, building up yourselves on your own. On your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, say Holy Ghost, praying in the Holy Spirit, keeping yourselves in the love of the Father. See, that's the key. Keeping yourselves in the love of the Father, looking for mercy, for the mercy of our Father, our anointed, our Father, the anointed, uh, the anointed Spirit. Unto eternal life. Verse 22. And of, and, of, and of some having compassion. Making a difference. This is what we should be doing. Trying to make a difference. That was Jude verse 9 through 22. I guess it was. Yeah we did uh, verse 3 through 22. Now we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 8. Isaiah chapter 8. We're only going to go to one verse. It's probably one verse. Maybe more than that, but I'm just going to go with where I'm at right now. But um, I'm going to go to 18. I was going to go to uh, Ezekiel chapter 8 and 20, but I'm going to start at 18. I'm going to start at 15. I'm just going to start at 15. So I'm just looking at this right now. 15 to 20. And many among them shall tremble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the law among my disciples. See that? And I will wait upon the father that hideth his face from the house of Jacob, and I will look for him. Now, he's going to hide his face from the house of Jacob. Then say Israel. I always say, me, myself, I always say Jacob is dead Israel, who don't know who, is, who, don't know who we are. And Israel is us who is a wide, a wide and awoke, and we know who the father is. And then we got some Christian, some Hebrew, uh, Hebrew, um, so I say some Hebrew Christians or some, uh, yeah, Hebrew Christians. That's what I call them. Got some Hebrew Christians out here that still stuck and can't let that, 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 uh, that JC go. Verse 17. And I will wait upon the, the father that hideth his, his face from the house of Jacob and I will look for him. Verse 18. Behold, I and the children whom the father has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel. This is the Spirit speaking. This is the Spirit. As far as I'm concerned, you read the whole situation. This is the Spirit speaking. Behold, I and the children whom the Father has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel. From the Father, from the uh, Lord of hosts, uh, from the uh, 
Father of hosts, which dwelleth in Mount Zion. Excuse me. 19. And when they, sh when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirit. Who going to say that? Who going to tell you to do that when the Father and the Word don't say don't do that? And unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto the, their father for the living to the dead? They said, well, should we do that? Verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no spirit, anointing spirit, the light in them. If they don't speak to this, there's no light in them. And they shall pass through it hardly be stead and hungry, and it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry, they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their father and look upward. They're going to curse them. Then when they get to a certain position, and they shall look into the earth and behold trouble and darkness, dimness and anguish, and they shall be driven to darkness. Whoa. All that from the verse I wanted to get in verse, verse 20 out of Isaiah chapter 8, okay, all that came down. Mm. But I believe that right there is when some of the people went through their spiritual awakening. Some people went through that. Went through that before they went through it, or that was their beginning. So that's all I'm going to share with you on that point. But um, last and not least, this is what I'm saying. This is the remedy. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So the only way to get the light is to go to the law and testimony, which is where we're in right now. It's where we're at right now. And, and last but not least, is it least? No, it's not least. We're going to go to Ecclesiastics. Chapter 12, the last book in Ecclesiastics. Chapter 12, starting at verse 12 to the end. And then we're going to end it. And furthermore, I'm going to start with 10. 10 to 14. I'm going from there. Let me go to verse 9. I'm just going to start from there. I, I, my, my, my spirit just kept taking me on, so I'm going to go ahead and take it from where I'm going to go. Verse 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, starting at verse 9. And it's called the whole duty of man. The whole duty of man. The more say, and moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. See what I'm saying? Yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set it and set in order. Many proverbs. All right. The preacher did a good job on this one right here. He said in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words. Acceptable words. That, uh, and that which was written was upright, even words of truth. The only truth is the Father's law. Verse 11, the words of the wise are as golds and as nails fastened by the master of the assemblies, of, no, of assemblies, which are given from one shepherd, which are given from one shepherd, like whoever gave it. That one shepherd was Moses. Moses gave it and it instructed everybody and everybody did it as the father instructed them as well. 
And further by these may son, my son uh, be admonished of making of, um, excuse me, verse 12, from one shepherd, right? Verse 12, and further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books, there is no end. And much study is a weariness of flesh. See, when you do a whole lot of studying, whole lot of studying, I was there too. I was there too. I did a whole lot of, but I retained what I needed. But I got to the point where, when I got to Atlanta, I knew I knew enough to understand, I don't need that, I don't need that. I keep this, I don't need that. But I need this and I need that, and I don't need that. I knew how to live by what I had come to know. Verse 13, let us hear the conclusion of, of the whole matter. Fear the Father. And that's what I do. I don't go looking for nobody to be nobody to be over me. I don't go worshiping a man. I don't do none of that. I go find out what I need to find out. After I find out, if I have to leave, I'm gone. If not, I'm still there. Things that need to be done will be done. And I have to learn. Let us hear verse 13 one more time. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Father and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Got to know it by learning it first. This is the whole duty of man. Verse 14. For the Father shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or bad. Or, or, or whether it be bad. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm ahead of myself. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, the Father will bring it into judgment into work. That's your answer to these the priests of Satan and the pre and the uh Satan's priests and prophets. That's your answer. So, in order for us to keep ourselves as we should, in order for us to keep ourselves as we should, we got to make sure that we're right in the eyes of the Father by keeping his word, keeping his ways, and keeping his laws. And by doing that, that's how we, that's how we actually keep ourselves in the Father's stead by doing his will doing his ways, and keeping ourselves in the perfect position, Lord. in the perfect position in order to do what we need to do for the Father. So I started this off with, with repent, but I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this with what we call the end. I'm going to end this with the end. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, as I was just saying, this is one of my songs. This is one of my favorites. I want to do a dance track off of. I'm going to do it. It's a dance track. I want to do a routine off of. But this is one of my favorites too. So I call this the end. I'm going to end it with this. And um, I want to tell you, I thank you. I love y'all for being with me. Staying here. And I'll see you next week. Around the same time. With some more info. Thank you for your time. Patience. Listening here. And you'll see you This is the end. Came straight to me out of the word. Tell me what you think.
so have fear redemption comes and goes. All the ones who call on the name of the Lord, but not for the enemy and foes. Children have vision, men shall have dreams, and earth should be cold and old. The sun should be dark, the moon should be red. There will be time to go to bed. The Lord shall wait the heavens above and signs and earth beneath. Blood, fire, and apes of smoke, weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Lord up above shows his love, but it is up to you to give your life to the Lord and turn your life around too. Acts, second chapter, 17 through 21 verse, and also in Joel, second chapter, 28 through 32 verse. Check it out. Things that we need to do. Things that we need to do. Things that we need to do. Something that we need to do. Something to think about. Something to say. I have something to say because I'm here for you today. Got to make the right to find the things on time. Got to do it for you. Got to break it down because I love you. And stop killing and fighting. I love you all. Please, get right to Makes you feel good. Makes you feel at home. Makes you feel like you don't want to be alone. Be with the next person by your side. Take his hand and be his guide. Take him where he needs to go. Because he needs to love you so. We've got to do it real nice. We've got to do it. about it y'all that was about the end of it i want to thank y'all for y'all time y'all patience you're listening here and you're seeing i i'll be back next week hope you like the information hopefully i'll see and talk to you soon peace Love y'all. Love you. Love you.